Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a small makeover of my sewing table area. So a bit of a backstory on my beautiful beast of a sewing machine. She was a gift from my dad when I graduated from my diploma in fashion design about 13 years ago now. Even though I no longer work in the fashion industry, I have still kept this machine. It's actually moved house with me about six times and requires uh, three grown men to move it because it weighs an absolute ton. I've kept this machine because it sews like a dream and honestly, once you use an industrial machine, it's really hard to go back to a domestic. Living in such a small house with limited space, it's really not ideal to have a sewing machine this big as I don't have a proper space for it. At the moment, it's just shoved into the corner in my home office and honestly, it's not the prettiest thing to look at. I've decided I'm going to do my best to give her a makeover and make her look a little bit more cute in this space and hopefully she'll blend in with the rest of my office. First up was painting the wooden trim of the table. It was this very orange tone color and at first I wasn't sure if I should paint over the ruler but honestly in the 13 years I've had this machine I haven't used it once. I started by taping the masking tape around the top edge of the table. I didn't bother with taping under the table because you don't ever really see that and I just figured it'd be a lot easier to paint. The color I went with was this beautiful beige. I've been painting absolutely everything in my house with this color lately. It's just so pretty. I did end up painting the rubber pedal and the feet of this machine. I'm not sure how long this is going to last um, or if it will stay, but I figured I could always touch it up later on if it does end up peeling. Moving on to the stool, I picked up this little pink velvet stool from my local Kmart and it was under $20. I can't remember the exact price, but it was either I think $15 or $19, something like that. I was originally going to cover this stool in a boucle fabric. I am obsessed at the moment, uh, but I did make a last minute decision and decided to cover it with this fluffy rug instead, which was also from Kmart. I think it was around $19 or so. It's just so beautiful and I think it goes really well with the black and the beige. After removing the seat from the base, I laid the rug right side down and then cut a circle with about a 10 centimeter folding allowance. Go a little bit more if you're not too sure if you're going to try this out. 
I then used a staple gun to secure the rug to the base of the seat. I like to start by stapling in four corners and then slightly shifting and repeating this. This will just help you to get an even pull when stapling. To store my sewing bits and pieces, I picked up this wooden storage box from IKEA. It does come in a flat pack and has to be built, but it was very easy to assemble. I ended up painting the storage box in the same color as the sewing table so they could match. To finish the look, I added this beautiful art piece that I found on sale in Target. It's very neutral, I think it blends in beautifully. I also found this small waist bin while I was in there. It fits perfectly under the sewing table, nice and neatly, and it's the perfect size for threads and fabric scraps. <laughs> 